Panasonic is investing $700 million to produce Tesla's 4680 battery cell at a factory in Japan by 2023. What does this mean for the electric vehicle maker? Well, there have always been rumors about Tesla improving the battery situation, and it looks like it's actually happening. Tesla is preparing to start production of its first vehicle using its 4680 battery cell, a new tabless battery cell, in a bigger format with new chemistry unveiled in 2020. Wow, this is actually very intriguing. Now let's find out what this means for Tesla EV production. For the first time, the automaker plans to produce its own cells to support its electric vehicle production. However, Tesla is going to need so many cells that it's also partnering with current battery suppliers to deploy their own production of the new 4680 cell. Panasonic, which is Tesla's oldest battery partner, has tentatively announced that it would be deploying a prototype production line for the new battery cell. Later, Panasonic's new CEO, Yuki Kusumi, said that it's prepared to make a large investment in producing Tesla's new battery cell if test production proves successful. In October 2021, the Japanese manufacturer unveiled its own 4680 cell developed with Tesla. The automaker claims to have solved some major issues that were preventing the industry from producing bigger cylindrical Li-ion cells in a new format called 4680. Tesla's new 4680 battery cells had the potential to be cheaper, more efficient, and therefore enable a longer range or smaller battery packs. The automaker had to develop new manufacturing processes in order to make the battery cell, and it plans to deploy those at scale in its own new battery factories being built near Berlin, Shanghai, and Austin. When Tesla unveiled its plan to produce its own new tabless battery cell in a bigger format with a new chemistry using its own machinery designed in-house in 2020, some people misunderstood it as Tesla trying to move away from getting battery cells from suppliers. But Elon Musk made it clear that Tesla still plans to buy as many battery cells as it can from suppliers. The reason Tesla is doing its own cell production is in order to accelerate the growth and not to make less use of cell suppliers. Now, there's a report that claims that Panasonic has given the green light to a $705 million investment at its Wakayama factory in Japan to produce the 4680 cell for Tesla. Well, of course, there hasn't been anything concrete about the matter from the company, but it's not something that we can just rule out entirely. We've been anticipating it from 2020, we just didn't know which exact supplier would begin production. The report said that Panasonic was planning a production output of less than 10 gigawatt hours at the plant. At an average pack size of 60 kilowatt hours, that's enough to produce over 150,000 vehicles per year, and that's quite impressive. However, it's anticipated that Panasonic could also deploy new production lines for the 4680 cells at other factories, including potential Gigafactory in Nevada, where the company already produces 2170 cells for Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y vehicles produced at the Fremont factory. Along with Panasonic, LG, Samsung, and CATL have all also indicated that they aim to produce 4680 cells for Tesla. And along with its own battery cell production, which is being deployed at Gigafactory Texas, Berlin, and Shanghai, Tesla said that it will buy every battery cell it can from suppliers for the foreseeable future. The bottom line is that Tesla is poised to perform really well in the near future. Currently, the focus is squarely on the outlook amid the ongoing semiconductor shortage, plans for the production ramp-up in two new factories, and updated guidance promised by CEO Elon Musk on the launch of new models like the Cybertruck. Last quarter's results will likely fade into the background because the company already blew consensus estimates for vehicle sales and production out of the water in the final three months of last year, increasing the gap to its closest rivals and forcing analysts to begin revising their fourth quarter forecasts. Moreover, its operations are solidly profitable and business is booming. After sales surged 87% last year to 936,000 vehicles, Wall Street analysts are starting to ratchet up their forecasts for 2022 from around 1.3 million to possibly 1.4 million cars or more. 2022 is the year Tesla could cement its place as the major EV giant, but then supply constraints rather than demand will dictate its volumes. We acknowledge that Tesla hasn't been very kind to investors so far. It's been a rough start for Tesla stock. The stock has since fallen despite vaulting after the fourth quarter deliveries were announced, 
mainly due to the deteriorating macro environment. Growth companies have been hammered as investors priced in four interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve this year due to soaring inflation. With the market already expecting four-quarter percentage point hikes this year, Goldman economist David Miracle said that the Omicron spread is aggravating price increases and could push the Fed into a faster pace of rate increases. Markets expect no action regarding interest rates following the gathering, but do figure the Federal Open Market Committee will tee up a hike coming in March. If that happens, it will be the first increase in the central bank's benchmark rate since December of 2018. Raising interest rates would be a way to head off spiking inflation, which is running at its highest 12-month pace in nearly 40 years. While the economic complications from the COVID spread have aggravated imbalances between booming demand and constrained supplies, and also the wage growth is continuing to run at high levels, particularly at lower-paying jobs, even though enhanced unemployment benefits have expired and the labor market should have loosened up. In addition to hiking rates, the Fed also is winding down its monthly bond-buying program, with March as the current date to end an effort that has more than doubled the central bank balance sheet to just shy of $9 trillion. While some market participants have speculated that the Fed could shut down the program at next week's meeting, Goldman does not expect that to happen. The Fed could, however, provide more indication about when it will start unwinding its bond holdings. So in the meantime, there's nothing to worry about for Tesla investors. As a matter of fact, investors should maintain the focus on the fourth quarter earnings call and the Tesla 2022 production plans. With the 4680 cell batteries now a surety, things should fall back in place comfortably for Tesla. Speculation has even emerged recently that Tesla could be already working on a smaller version of the Cybertruck for markets outside North America. Another key model underpinning Tesla's growth story is what some are calling the Model 2, an affordable compact hatchback. Investors could get an updated timetable for the launch of a model first announced back at the company's Battery Day presentation in September 2020. While there's so much more to look forward to from the electric vehicle maker, products are not the only focal point. Tesla is viewed as a tech company with the potential for software industry margins. That's why the roadmap for its full self-driving beta software is key to Tesla's oversized valuation. It has recently traded at the same market cap as its nine largest competitors combined. And version 11 of FSD is expected to arrive soon. This new updated FSD version will unify all functions into one full stack of programming code. In theory, this should accelerate further development and bring forward the date when Tesla drivers can move from what's now hands-off to eyes-off automated driving. Tesla's technology remains unmatched. Consumers unsure whether the feature is worth that much and question the move, while investors have generally welcomed it due to the added profits. As long as Tesla keeps posting some great results, investors won't be worried about a thing. Tesla has weathered the global supply chain crisis better than any other automaker, producing a record number of vehicles. Tesla's revenue is also expected to keep rising. What could possibly hold back the EV giant from bouncing up? Supply chain issues are being handled well, and production is also set to increase. Tesla will just keep getting better. We hope you enjoyed the session today. Many thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.